my name is Crab Queen. Welcome back to my channel. And um, today I'm going to start with uh, the very brand new Graphic 45 Garden Goddess. And before I'm going to start with it, I want to show you how the papers are look like. And for well, all, I have a 12 by 12 and an 8 by 8. Uh, so I have plenty. Well, the 8 of 8 is um, the same, of course, as this one. Only these have uh, 24 sheets, so 3 of each. And these have 2 of each, so 16 sheets. So let's dig in. So this is the Garden Goddess. And it's very flowery. My Garden of Flowers is also my Garden of Dreams. And... We have these yellow, big flower, really nice to cut out. And on the other side, we have the yellow. So it's really a perfect match to these two. And then we have this, um, the stripe, the strips, the stripes, how you're going to call it, but always love that. And on the back is this nice, clean green. Then we have these nice pink flowers. Wow, I really love the, the strip on the back. And then for the other side we have more flowers. And I think these two are both really busy, but I really like the pink. Okay, so then we go forward to this piece. And, oh my gosh, I really love the girl. And I always like, like love clocks. So, really blossoms, beauty blossoms from the inside. And then on the other side is this green with these yellow flower. Perfect match, don't you think? These are awesome. Then we have the ATC cards. Well, not the A, yeah, the, the, the card. The cards that you can cut out and on the other side are this nice pink clean page. Wow, happiness blossoms where seeds of kindness have been thoughtfully planted. Garden goddess, beauty blossoms from the inside, the flower doesn't dream of the bee, it blossoms and the bee comes. Wow, amazing, amazing, then we have these flowers, and then this on the back, perfect match, I see now it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the exact same image, but then in a negative way, and okay, really cool. And then this one, wow, this one I really love. With all the girls inside, a very big flowery garden. <coughs> wow, you keep, you keep staring at this page. Oh, and then on the back, a really nice pink plain one. And this is uh, <coughs> a big page. Uh, same as the front of the paper pad. Really cool. Really nice to use this on the front of an album or <coughs> anything at all. And then on the back. Oh wow, I love these white little flowers. Oh my god! <laughs> oh gosh. Hate you! <laughs> Oh, guys, that was my son. <gasps> he only gave me a heart attack. <laughs> and then we have the sticker sheets. And I always love the, chicken, the sticker sheets. And I believe they now always come with the design paper pad, the 12 by 12 at least. Uh, so if you buy the 12 by 12 paper pad, you always get a sticker sheet, I believe. I'm not... 100% sure, but I believe it is. So, oh gosh, these are awesome. Really cool. Yeah, I want to get started. Yeah. 
So, yeah, let's dig in and let's see what we are going to do with it. So I have the 8x8 and the 12 by 12 and the sticker sheet. So, can't wait to start. Stay tuned. Hmm, I was thinking, choosing which cardstock I want to use. Do I want the cream, the cream one? Or the white one? Okay. Well, that's really a personal touch. The white is really pop. And the cream one is more delicate. So, I think I will use the cream one. Cream or white? Cream or white? Um, yeah. I think the cream one. Cream one. Because I'm going to see if this is not too thick to fold in pages. But we'll see. But I think I'm going to use the cream one. <laughs> Yes, the folding works pretty well and I think I really like a simple album, a little back to basic. So I did some score lines and I will tell you that later, but it's just a tryout. But I think I like this with a big pocket at the front and then on the back this flips, can flips open and a little tuck spot here. And then um, I'm going to use the waterfall hinge. And then it came out pretty well with this size. And then it's 7, 7, 2, even 8 by 8. And that will fit perfectly with what I had in mind. <laughs> um, I got a big wooden um, cigar box just the other day from my... Uh, father-in-law and um, I think this will fit perfectly uh, to put a nice album in so I think I'm going to use this so I think I first going to paint this and decorate it and then I come back with um, the album that's going inside because I really it's a long time for me doing a, a, a box a wooden box so I'm definitely going to try it out again so yeah let's use this and i'm going to paint it with white just some white what i have in my stash some white home deco decorative hobby paint and you can use any white but let's do that let's do that first so it can dry and in the meantime i can think further on how i want to end it up with this <laughs> so yeah let's paint it so I am just going to grab just a, um, a brush and I'm going to paint it all the way. Actually you only need the only need the edges actually because I am definitely going to put some paper of course. So actually, you only need the edges to make it white. Well, I'm just going to paint it. Why not? Let's paint it all. Yep. All the way around. And I'm going to leave you just for a moment. So I'll come back when it's done. Hmm. Okay, so I painted it. And I painted it all. But it really does not need it all. Because we only see the edges. So yeah, it's done. And um, it's... Pretty dry, I guess. Yeah, I did let it dry pretty good. And so now I'm first going to do the outside uh, with design paper. And then I will see what closure I can use on this. And then we go on and on and on. So follow me along if you like. 
really would like that. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, I was started a bit, and definitely this is going to be on top of this piece. So let's do that first. I'm going to. I did use some double sided tape on the edges just to keep it on place and I really was thinking which glue I want to use and well I think I could use anything but I had this in my stash and I did want to try this and this is for all kind of materials and I definitely want to try it out how it goes on wood and paper and so it's a try out see how it goes because I really don't want that this paper is going to be loose from the from the wooden cigar box but I think other glue will do too good other glue will be good too of course but gosh really it's smelly But let's put this on and I think when this is on its place with this glue it does not go anywhere. At least I hope. <laughs> it's a tryout. I think the art glitter glue will do also good. But it's just a tryout, so I am going to use the Potex. Okay, so this will be the top. I already loved it. And then I am going to make a border all the way around with this piece. And I started already gluing this down. And I have made four of these, and that's this paper I did use and because of the pink I really like the pink with this so let's attach the other pieces and the reason why I started this because here are these little metal hinges and if I started somewhere else I would probably go make it higher but with these hinges this back strip needs to go lower so that is why I started with the hinges so the, f the next one will be going on the exact same spot and that will be here okay so I'm peeling off my double sided table it, that, that's just just an extra oh, oop, just an extra thing to keep it all in its place. Gosh, this smells ugly. Perhaps I get higher from this. <laughs> okay. Let's rub this a little. There we go. Okay. Clean up my finger and then I'm going to search where this piece needs to go. And then this goes all the way to the end. Yeah, this is pretty straight. I believe. Yep. Okay. All right. Next piece. Oh yeah.
schon Chlorn. Clean it off just a bit. Okay. Okay. Next stop. And then all the way to the end. Checking if this is straight. I think it is. Well, it's a long time that I did a cigar box. And I like it. Okay, last piece. And then let's see what kind of paper I want to do on the bottom. What do you think? What shall we use? What shall we use on the bottom? Mm -mm 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 -mm. color for the bottom. Okay. Well. Yep. Looking lovely already. Okay, I think, well, some green or yellow, what shall we do? Let's, 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 let's see. This is too much flowery. This is the same. Mm -hmm. Also too busy. Perhaps this. Mm, well, I think I go with the green one. What do you think? Plain green one. This is a plain green one. What do you think? This match perfectly. Not pink. Let's see the other one. Oh no, definitely, definitely this piece. So I'm going to cut these and I'm back in one second. <laughs> okay, I already um, glued the sides down with this queen. Really love how that turns out, and I use this one for the back. Um, let me turn this over. This one uh, it really matches the yellow, the green, the pink, and then with the front. I think that's a perfect match. Um, so now, first, before I go on the inside, I will make a closure. And first I'm going to attach this piece and it's more like a handle on a drawer. Um, I found this in my 
a local shop and I going to attach this in the middle and then I'm going to see um, how I'm going to attach because I was thinking about a elastic so I can whip it on but I don't know how I'm going to attach it but I also can do a seam binding closure that really gives an extra touch I give I think a more extra touch than uh, elastic so First I am going to see what the middle is and then I am going to see if I can attach it in a good way. Okay, this is the middle. So this is the middle and I want this on the... There we go, and there we go. Now I hope I can see that. I do. Now I am going to see if I can put a hole in 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 this because it's wood. So we are going to try it out, and if it does not work, mm, okay. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> that worked actually pretty well the wood is really soft and if you don't make the hole too wide then it will go with just a little um, picker so I'm going to turn it and make these as a closure so it really went pretty well so thank god <laughs> It was really a test. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. So I'm going to flat these really tight so they wouldn't be in the way. So yeah, it really turns out pretty well. Nice and sturdy. Okay, okay, next part. <laughs> next part because um, I think it will be awesome to give a nice which color will I use? Well, I think this one so you can wrap it around I think it's just an option when this is here I can close it I think with a ribbon so it will be Attach underneath. Okay. Well, I have to figure it out for myself for just a moment, and I will be back in a second. All right. Um, it was a little um, searching out what I was planning. I was planning to do some little elastic, but this old a very old bronze ornament I have so long in my stash um, I thought it was perfect to use on on this uh, cigar box but the elastic uh, um, knob underneath this will not did not match so I think of something else and I told you before um, that I would try it out. Well, what I did was okay. Let me show you real quick. Um, well, this is a very old ornament. It came out from an, an antique uh, cabinet that they are going to um, dispose. So I um, got got to save this because I don't throw it away. And I really have it a long time. And now I think this is perfect to use. So what I did is I put some seam binding, 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 seam binding <laughs> underneath here in these two little holes. And then I push, I glued it on first and then I put some brad uh, in to really give it a tight uh, so it will stay there. And then yeah, you can close it underneath this little knob. And so it's just really simple to open this up and there you go okay i love how this turns out so if you don't want to close it you even can make a nice bow on top of this 
Yay! If you don't want to close this as a closer, but you can with this. Okay, so that is uh, for the outside for now. Um, well, I think I will do some lace and perhaps some more um, blonde. I really like how this turns out. But for now, I will leave it. Even the inside, I will... Uh, uh, no. Um, no, I am going to... I'm going to cover the inside and then go to the album. That's... Thank, yeah, that, that's better. So I know how much paper I have left. So, yeah, let's do first the inside. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. Alrighty. Back soon. Okay, so far so good. So the outside is finished for now. And then on the inside. This inside is done for now. And we'll not do anything else, of course, because we need a space to put the album in. And then on the inside, uh, with the lid flap, um, I can't do blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, I search this kind, this this piece of design paper. Oh my gosh, the words, the words are not coming out of my mouth today. But anyway, leaving it plain is really boring. So I'm going to make a big pocket on it. I think. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, let's do that. So before I glue this down, I am going to make a big pocket. And I have quite a few pieces left. Mm -mm -mm. And I want to use that. So let's say, let's say, oh yeah, let's use this pink one. Pink, yeah. Let's use the pink one. And because of this, is already. Um, this size so I definitely want to use this size so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut this what I'm going to do is I think first I'm going to make sure that I will have a nice border that I love. Oh my gosh, this paper is too big, you guys. It's too big. Oh my gosh, and the paper is also too thick. That just went well. Let's see if I will do it this way better. Oh my, <laughs> oh gosh, that was my skin. <laughs> oh, really, 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 really crafting is dangerous today. It really is. Let's say I can't see from here, so I really need, oh my, my goodness. Oh, that went well. It's really thick paper, so I really have to push it real hard. Do I need more? No, I think we are good. So let's give it one more. One last tick and then... Uh, yep. And then I can measure... Um, so I'm sorry that this is just a mess. Okay, so I want to use this piece of paper and I don't want to cut it. Um, not exactly. 
because now I remember that this kit has such loving, 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 loving borders. And I always like to use that as you know me. Let's cut out this piece that fits perfect. Just the one right at the front. Perfect. This is perfect. Yes, it is. Okay. So, and this. Okay, so now I'm going to cut it like here. Yeah! Okay, still no measuring. Still no measuring. Just using my papers. First beer before I do anything else. Because I just want to use all my papers. Alright, so I think I will go first make a flippity flop. On one side, right, and this will go around the paper. This will go underneath, underneath this paper, and now I am going to not attach it right away, but see. How far this go? Really so sorry girls that I tuck you under. But it has to be done. Okay. Let's say I am going to glue this down. But I'm going to, going to hold this. Hold this steady. And I'm going to help my paper by pushing it a little as it was my scoring board. And then I just wrapping this paper all the way around. And then burnish it down with my bone folder. And then I am going to cut this shorter as a half um, a half um, inch. <laughs> inch, girl! <laughs> it's an inch. Oh yeah. Bring it on. Okay, so now we can attach this onto this page and now it fits perfect. Okay, so let's attach it and like it all the way down. First doing one, then I'm using my wet glue for under for the bottom if it will <laughs> okay here we go yep here we go Let's shake it a little because it's getting colder and we don't want a nasty glue that don't glue. Okay, yep. Now we can fold it all back. And then the last piece. There we go. Glue, do its job. There we go. Then we have a nice big pocket. And now we can decorate. So, as I want it, I want this. Let's do first this piece. What's the perfect size? Just a little tiny, tiny little edge of just a little piece, and then we can smooch it. And for this time, I use my 
Let's have a see. Distress Ink Vintage Photo. That is what I use this time. Normally I always choose or black or vintage photo for the lighter, uh, for lighter colors of paper. So yeah. And for the bigger pieces I really love this clear glue. That has been bought in a local store. And I believe, and I will try it out, but I believe it's exactly the same as the Coral uh, glue. But I definitely need that to try it out because so many times ask, you guys ask me which glue that is, but it's only available in Europe. So but I think it's the same one as the Colol. C-O-L-L-A-L. -L -L. But I don't know for sure, but I will check it out. But this one is, is the best one for many, many, many occasions. But I only use um, the clear glue for the bigger piece pieces. Just yeah, to save the arc glitter glue. Here in Holland it's, it's not always easy to get on, but... Uh, but but arc, by the arc glitter glue on countercraft creations, of course. But I am from Holland, so... <laughs> I have to be a little sure that I don't run out too fast. Because I just love the clear arc glitter. I really do. I wish I had a store here. And I can buy where I can buy as much as I can, but uh, well, it can now, but still, I want to save it. Okay, well, I was brabbling, but now we have a nice big pocket, and that's always nice to do. So let's glue it on, on the lid of our cigar box. Oh yeah, I am really using three kind of glues today. Isn't that <laughs> very odd? But I'm still not sure with the wood if that match with these other two glues. So I really want to be sure that everything is staying put. So that's why I use some Potex. Okay. That was enough because it really smells. Oh. Really smells. Okay, where's my? Here it is. Oh, something fell. Oh, my tape fell. Okay. Yep. Then this can go on. Nice in the middle with a nice edge. There we go. Yeah, it's really simple, but I love it. everywhere underneath the paper and then it can be dry nice and tight on the wood okay I think I manage it oh this won't go anywhere I hope 
I hope. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> okay, nice big pockets. And yeah, the box is done. Wow, cool. Yeah, like it. Okay. Okay. There's one thing I noticed, and I don't know if that's a problem. I think not. But uh, I did not notice that um, this paper, of course, is getting thicker than only um, the top paper. And this piece is going to be laying on this side. So if I close it, you see that. It's not a big deal because we have a closure on the front. But that was not what I expect that it did. So it should be, if I was thinking it truly further than I did, then I should be doing a pocket a little more in the middle, so I kept a little left, but I think it's no big deal for now because we still have the closure and it will shut down. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's 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 a little little, not perfect, but okay. Like it. All right. So um, yeah, I hope this was not too boring because. Um, not everybody has perhaps a cigar box to do, but I just love it. And now I can make my um, album in the right size to fit in here. Perfect! Okay, stay tuned!